Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Looney Tunes for the Nintendo Game Boy. This was a game that I didn't even know existed until somebody shared gameplay of it on Twitter, and I was like, I played platformers like this in the past, especially the Tiny Toons games. Why not give this one a chance? So this came up in the randomizer, which, you know, I put in fairly recently, and it didn't even last long until it got picked. It's a pretty interesting uh, 2D platformer, and you play as different Looney Tunes characters. So let's get started, shall we? Alright, first you play as Daffy Duck. So let's do this thing. So you can jump on enemies, which is helpful. But, you, but for Daffy, and only Daffy, he has a frisbee that he can use as a weapon. Alright, time to face the Yosemite Sam as a mid-boss, and he's already down. It's honestly not a very long game by any standards. I guess I could have jumped on all those. The thing you might have to worry about is if you're going down a hill, because you do move pretty fast. So it's a standard fare, use left and right to move, A is jump, B is attack. That is if you're playing as a character that can attack. Right now, Marvin Martian's a little bit tougher, as you can see. Oh my god, look at that dino over there. Oh my god, the frisbee's actually just screwing me up. Here, let me grab the pal, because that's invincibility for a few seconds. And I'll grab the extra health on top of it. There we go. Actually, I think there's a little trick you can get to if you jump out of the water. So I think I already messed it up. Yeah, I don't think you can do it. Apparently there's supposed to be a super boomerang you can get if you go to the other side of the mountain. But I mean, what's the point of that? Because once you finish Daffy's level, that's it. I think you can jump on fish, even underwater. That doesn't make much sense, but sure. Why am I facing characters so that look like they're in Bubble Bobble? Okay, at least you can duck under the bullets. Semi Sam certainly is a persistent bugger, isn't he? He must think it's duck season all the time. Even in the water. Ah, damn it. Thought I could actually avoid damage right there, but nope. So, I think there are unlimited continues, so if you run out of lives, the only consequence is probably having to redo the whole stage. Which is not terrible. So at least you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning of the game. Whoa, that almost tripped me up into the spikes. Spikes are not insta-kill, by the way. They will hurt you. But that's it. There's no real reason to kill enemies other than to get points. You also get points for clearing a level in a fast amount of time, too. So you just balance that as you go. Because eventually getting a lot of points will get you an extra life. Wake up. Okay, it looks like that's a wind-up fish. Spits up its babies at you. Which... Thankfully, you can hurt, if they're gonna get in the way. It goes in a very s standard pattern. And there you go. That's how it's done, says the guy that got hit several times against that boss. Oh, now he plays Tweety Bird. So the gameplay is a little bit different. You can fly quite a while, 
but you will eventually get tired. All while trying to avoid Sylvester and pretty much any other obstacle. If you go too far, he just goes off screen and leaves you alone for a few seconds. But you can also trip him up by going into a manhole, or at least going near a manhole. The bats don't even hurt you, by the way. I think it's only Sylvester that can. There we go. Oh god, even Sylvester's son can't hurt you. The worst time is like dealing with Sylvester, sometimes the manhole is just not there when you need it. There we go. You can just do this every once in a while. And then continue through the level and he comes back already. There we go. Just try not to fall in the manholes yourself. Because, well, you will die and have to redo the whole stage. Because this stage is not split into sections, if you die, even at the very end, you have to go back to the beginning. Well, oh no! Like that, see? I don't know how far I was. I might have been near the end of the stage, and now I gotta do the whole thing again. Well, that sucks. I didn't think I'd get tired already. Maybe getting hit accelerates your exhaustion. Like, I don't know the complete nuances of how Looney Tunes for the Game Boy works. I'm just going with the motions right now. Oh, apparently you can walk much faster if you just fly and then walk forward. Sylvester may not even be able to catch up to me. I don't know, maybe it's only if you get, like, bumped and then you'll hit the ground. Because now I'm just walking normal speed again. There we go. Now I made it farther than when I died last time. Had a bit of a speed burst, but it's gone now. Bird seed! I had to wait for it to land completely. And that's how you finish the level. There we go. Stage three, Porky Pig. And this one is a shooter! You can hold B and just keep shooting indefinitely. Which I think is very valuable at this point in time. Or you can just let go if you think it's too noisy. Oh great, now there's satellite dishes. These take a few more hits to destroy. And they leave behind bullets, so watch out. I'm gonna try to detonate the bombs early so that they don't stay at the very left side of the screen. That's how you can get rid of the bombs faster. So they do take a few shots before they're gone. Oh great, now even the UFOs shoot at you. Also, it might be a good idea to stay away from, like, the top and bottom of the screen. In case a shift comes over to you. I think we're at the mid-boss now. Which is basically a six golden coin switch. So I'll start shooting at you with pumpkins. And then just lunge forward with that star around it. But it does it twice. So, watch yourself, so you don't get needlessly hit. There we go, now you face the actual boss. Just a star. 
The spoon you can just avoid easily, but the fork, it will track your movement. So make sure you prioritize it if you see it. Other than that, it's not a very tough boss. Now see, that part is cheating, because you can't hit the fork. It would just outpace you every time. Okay, that was dumb of me. Oh god, I kept missing the fort. And now it's dead. Alright, I think I need 200,000 points to get another life. Ooh, Tasmanian Devil! This level... I wouldn't really call it a level. It's just, get as much meat as you can, and the more meat you get, the more points you get. But that said, once the time limit is over, the stage ends. So I like to make one pass where I'm just staying on the upper path, and then another one when I'm going, you know, on the bottom. There we go. There's probably more meat down at the bottom that I need to get now. Oh. Oh. Careful. Doesn't tell you how many you get until you finish the level. Oh. Fifty-five. Eh, I'll take it. Yeah! Now for stage five. Speedy Gonzales. This one is a level I'm not necessarily a fan of because it's so easy to die in this. His attack is just shooting stars randomly. It's not really that good, but it works well against this mid-boss. So all it does is just walk towards you. And you can probably hit it twice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I made it! You can even hurt the ghost with this, too, which is pretty nice. Oh, duck! Oh, great. Bats, too. It always has to be the bats. Oh my god, look at this Duke Nukem frog right there. He leaves him out an earthquake when he lands, so try not to let it happen. Because the stun lasts a long time. Oh, this part's a pain in the ass. Because you have to react fast. There's a bit of trial and error involved, too. Because by the time you guess wrong, it's already too late. So as long as you stay over here, and stay over here, and over here, and there you go. That's it. Whee! Ooh, invincibility. Don't mind if I do. So I'll miss out on the one-up, but that's okay. I didn't mean to do that. That was my bad. Oh, wow, I actually got hit anyway. Now it's time to take on a vampire. Oh, that was dumb. You can probably get like two hops on him at a time. Before he teleports. 
Okay, next phase. Now it just turns into a giant bat. Then you gotta jump on his head. Watch out for the other little bats, too. Got him! Get the cheese! Alright, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Over 15 minutes in, and already we're on the second last level of the game. <laughs> it's a pretty short game! Let's get that right. Okay, this is one that I actually stopped playing when I practiced this. Because the Roadrunner stage is pretty rough. Like, it's not really the rocks you gotta worry about, it's the actual boss itself. I say as I get hit by the rocks anyway. Alright, Wally e. Coyote should be coming soon. What? I got hit anyway? Um... Okay... Like, every time he loses a heart, he just adds new attacks to his repertoire, so... Watch out. And sometimes, like, if your timing is bad, he will throw an anvil at the very moment you're ready to jump on him. And then you gotta do the whole thing over. So this is why I think this... This, uh, part of the game is a little rough. So I think you almost have to wait for him to throw the anvil a second time, and then you can jump on him. Or just go for it right on throw one. Yeah, you have to really just pick your spots. Like so. Now he's just adding a boomerang, and bullets, and anvils. He just adds a little bit of everything as you go. Now watermelons that have spread fire. Oh nice, he can get behind the bullets too. Got him! And then he just sinks into the earth! I just bury him alive! What a cruel way to go! Oh sweet, I got that life I lost. Alright, last level, Bugs Bunny. Oh. Bugs also has a frisbee. So as soon as I jump off the platform, it stops. Are you kidding me? Okay, you have to jump right at that very moment. Well, at least if you die here, the extra life respawns. So you can probably use the ghost to keep yourself upward as well. If you feel you jump too early. Yeah, I hate when the ghost just decide to dive right there. Oh my god, those ninjas! Ah! Oh, are you kidding me? I kinda hate that my spread is so large. Oh god, that's a... that's a spear trap. What? The ceiling of that actually screwed me. Oh, hey, Yosemite Sam. We meet again. Oh, sweet, I got some health. What the hell? Just 
the skeleton dino. All right, that's dead. The big mummy's back. Yo, this is a very hard mid-boss, as you can tell. Jumping, of course, does more damage than the Frisbee. So if you can do both, just do the jump. Oh, great, Marvin Martian. Wow! Just a random rock? What the hell? Oh, that just stuns you in place as well. Why does it look like Cool Spot? Except not actually cool. Just throw the rock already. At least it's a different new boss than we've already seen. Oh, I missed. The no, I okay. I can get that one. Uh oh. Go, 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 go. Nice. I think the frogs are the more annoying enemy. If I could be completely honest here. Oh, Elmer Fudd! Oh god. He also has a spread fire. Oh wow! He, he got me good with that top bullet. Oh god, he can shoot in mid-air, too! Oh god, I actually launched him into me. Alright, maybe if I try to jump into him only. Okay, I think I got a rhythm. Oh, he actually didn't jump. So try to jump onto him after he shoots. Oh god, he has an earthquake attack. If I had a little bit more reach, I could have got him right there. I also don't understand like how losing his hat makes him heavier. Oh my god, I juggled him! Got him. It's over. I beat the game. See, I would be able to see, like, how long this video is going right now, but Norn had a pop-up about junk files I can get rid of. And it's blocking all of OBS. Well, maybe at least 30% of it. But the only important stuff I need to see... Oh. And right now we're at the ending. So that's it! That's Looney Tunes for the Nintendo Game Boy! So that's two small LPs in a row that I finished in only one video? That's pretty nuts! I was starting to think that last year, in 2021, when I did around 50 playthroughs, I thought that was going to be my largest year in the modern era, all things considered. But if I keep doing Let's Plays like this that are done in one part, I might end up eclipsing that, too. That's going to be insane. But I thought this game was, like, you know, pretty short, you know, extremely short, that you can finish it in that short amount of time. And I didn't even game over or anything. 
But, you know, you get a little bit of a palate cleanser. You get to play as a different Looney Tunes character every time. For me, I felt like, uh, well, the hardest boss, of course, was the last one. But to me, the hardest stage to get used to was the Roadrunner stage, and maybe Speedy Gonzalez. I guess your mileage will, may vary as to, like, what one is harder for you. Also, Foghorn Leghorn's in the credits, but he never shows up in the game. Same with Pepe Le Pew! Yeah, there's a bunch of Looney Tunes characters in here that I don't even think show up at all. That's kind of weird. In any case, uh, as for my next Let's Play, I haven't decided. I'll probably just randomize another one. I was thinking, you know, because I already did two of those, I should do another Christmas special game, but because this game and, well, Double Dragon 3 ended up being so short... Why not just, like, uh, do a poll for another one? I think it'll be more fun that way. So anyway, this is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall... See you next time.